I'm uh, interviewing the President Pro Tem of the Senate, Brian Bingman. Mr. Bingman, thank you for your time. Uh, talk to us about the Republican Senate agenda on uh, jobs and the economy for this session. Certainly, we're uh, excited to start the session, and uh, when we talk about the Republican Senate agenda, um, it's going to be mainly pro-growth, uh, jobs-oriented, um, anything that we can do to create an environment that's pro-business, uh, helping businesses, small business in Oklahoma, uh, trying to attract new uh, business to Oklahoma, uh, that's what we want to uh, concentrate. Um. The uh, talk about the tax cut proposal and where you think the caucus is on that. I think when you talk about reducing the income tax, we want to be take a aggressive uh, but responsible approach to uh, uh, looking at the income tax. And um, I think uh, you know there's several measures that have been filed out there, and we're going to be very um, uh, judicious as we look at uh, you know the uh, income tax. But we want to uh, make sure that uh, we can. Um, Take, take money and put it back in the in pockets of the hard-earned income of Oklahomans. You know, last year one of the controversial issues was the uh, health care exchange under the federal legislation, and I know that's been grappled with during the interim. Uh, talk about um, the perspective of Republicans entering an area where there is a federal mandate and yet there's a lot of objection to the content of that mandate. Uh, the insurance exchange, as we uh, all know, has been a very challenging um, uh, issue in the uh, legislature, but uh, I think we had um, a task force over the summer that uh, we looked at all areas of that. The report is uh, going to be forthcoming, and um, you know we do have a federal law out there that um, hopefully that uh, our Attorney General has, has challenged and will be uh, victorious on getting uh, if not all of it, part of it overturned. But in the meantime, uh, you know, we've got to move forward and we want to make sure that we're looking at um, what's best for Oklahoma. When you talk about an exchange, then um, uh, we don't want the federal government coming in and telling us what we need to do. We want to put together something that um, is, uh, makes sense for Oklahoma. And uh, I think that's what we've been engaged in. Your, what you just uh, said is a very good preparation for my last main question, and that's the role of government and the work that Senator Clark Jolly is doing under your leadership. Senator Clark Jolly is doing an excellent job. Uh, we're always looking for ways to be more uh, efficient in the way we do things. Um, you know, money's been tight. You know, agencies have taken uh, some massive cuts over the last three years. So we want to make sure that we're um, exploring the best practices and the best way to, uh, you know, get our job done. And again, looking at the role of government, uh, we want to make sure we can, you know, it's a right size and and take care of the core areas that we need to, um, you know, address and make sure that, um, you know, any efficiencies that we can do, uh, do more with less, you know, those are some areas that we're going to concentrate. Any uh, concluding thoughts on the Republican agenda for this session? I think, um, you know, we're all excited about it. We're in day two of the uh, session, and um, I think we're, um, you know, a lot of challenges out there, but we look at it with, for, uh, you know, look at it as opportunities. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you.